paper. Uh, right, a few years ago now, was it a few years? When was it? It was Chrome, wasn't it? So, Chrome a few years ago, Lee's wagon had a nice little oil leak and shut down the track for a little bit. So the new hose is already showing signs of wear from the um, PP shake. Hey, right. hey, you good? good. Yeah, Rubbing yeah. against the engine mount there. So there's a, a bit of an elbow there that might be able to be twisted around to bring that hose out from um, to bring that hose out from the mount. But you're right. I think in time that's what happened. It'll happen again, and the engine mount is quite sharp down there. So it'll be acting yeah. like a a blunt knife over. When you're hitting, you know, 10, 10k on the old rev limiter there. Well, I don't know if it's the. That would be okay when it's under load. It yeah, won't be going backwards yeah, and forwards. It's, it's when it's point. idling, right? It's it'll be getting yeah, the the horizontal. Cause it, yeah, because it's got a pretty nasty idle, isn't it? So nasty like, meaning good. Yeah. <laughs> So it's probably getting a bit of a gangster boogie on and um, it's starting to shred, shred some uh, tubes. But now we'll deal to that. Should go for one tomorrow. So if you missed that, um, <laughs> Wayne's FD is ready for warrant again, which means it's got its VIN. I actually think Andrew put the VIN on it through his work. All legit, of course. So he's uh, tidied up the, the warrant items that were needed to get the um, car through warrant. Uh, the only thing left to do is put the factory seats back in and uh, should be good to go. Well, our time lapse is moving. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Alright, um, so Blair's engine is going in for a, a freshen up at that Llama. Just had a little bit of concern with when we were cranking it the other week. Um, it comes to a point where we can't crank it any further, suggesting there's some touching going on where there shouldn't be touching, just like um, at Kindergarten. I'm gonna go into Llama and get a tear down and freshen up. Uh, just, just so he knows what he's dealing with and, and so it doesn't have to come out again. Alright so that's been loosened off, moved and tightened back up again so there's a, a finger gap between the engine mount and the hose. I can feel some of the, um, the braid poking through though so kind of caught that just in time. Obviously a rotor like this sees its bonnet being taken on and off a fair bit. So Andrew is just imparting his wisdom to young Blair on uh, how he does it. Which is essentially to bolt it up, finger tight, clip it in up there, position the bonnet where you need to and then get underneath and tighten the bolts. Or you could do what Andrew's done and add a quick release pin to the whole hinge. So you just pull the pin out on each hinge and uh, it's all lined up each time perfectly. Don't have to fuck around anymore. So I drilled, drilled these ones out, and I drilled this to, I had like a couple of bolts that were a good size, so drilled them out slightly bigger. Um, and then you obviously put the bolt through with a nut on the other side, and um, drop it down, adjust it, tighten those up, and then they're tight forever, and you never have to adjust it. Very easy. Take, take the bonnet off and just take the bolt out. Done. The hinge splits in two. No adjustment needed. And how's this for impressive? Jason managed to somehow get the show car back up there. Because it was down there of course earlier. And if you remember that one has no engine so it would have been pushed up. Which can't have been easy because this thing's a pig to push even on the flat. Choice. Um, so Blair and I are going to pull pull the head off this and see if there is actually touching going on or if Shane's just really weak. No, there's definitely touching going on. 
All right, let's get into it. What you got there, Andrew? Oh, just a tilt wrench. Dinner. So Amy's got her new menu out, looking pretty fancy. And Jason brought the FD out for a drive. Boom! We're like it down. Holy yeah. shit! No uh, slow mo eating pictures today, Blair. No. That is impressive. Oh, All right. Oh, nice one, Shane. Luckily, I had the uh, microphone pointed to my mouth, not your ass. So we'll continue pulling that apart. Wayne's gonna continue pulling out the seats. Yeah, they come out much easier than they go in, that's for sure. Does it have petrol yet? So this ran out of gas at Hard Park, which is why we were pushing it around in the last video. But uh, I've been assured there is petrol in this now. Baby. He's oh, alive! Oh, well, you can crack the, the head without taking the hands out. Down there's got the buckery. Down there. It's oh, a yeah. decent uh, Is that one fingerprint on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can get my fingernails that are non existent in there. That's not in sequence. That's bad, bro. Oh, okay. That that's one there, yeah, that one's real, yeah. That's real bad. Oh god, it's not too bad, it's me too. Wow, there you go. Say mm. something. That's seen oh, some there, shit go through it, or something fucking epic oh. fail. Thousand Ks, man. <laughs> Throw your pen. Oh yeah, it was nuts. Compression now. And noise. Lots of noise. Fuck it. Down there. That's locked in. That sounds real tight, eh? Hey? Yeah, that's stupid. That tight. engine's real tight. Okay there, that's normal compression, and then that's alright, that's kind of compression, quite hard. 
Todd. <laughs> That's me. There's not something on the piston, eh? Mighty Carmel's. Oh, so these are lobes here. Yeah. Go on, yeah. Andrew, give it your good best shot. Cam, you need to <laughs> Look at the intake valve. Oh, the bo the bores will be rusty on it. That'd be why it's tight. Yeah, mm, real tight. That's why it then, sounds then like it's tight. Like, oh. oh. At some point, it'll be a bit clogged. So the shit. less you turn it over, now the better. Yep. You may as well pull the f head off it. Yeah. Anyway, and that's yep. probably has done f case, but it's just had water in it. Right. So, but looking at those intake valves, that's like a lot of water. So it's got head studs, so that's one good thing. They were pretty loose though, but it's alright. I'm really okay, holding on for this, so I need to go for a shit. <laughs> wait, 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 you can't go for a shit. Too big is. Got the, one <laughs> got the stance going. Yeah. Wait, 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 I need to be illumination! Oh, no, oh. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fucking so that's hell. Not like Get the, can someone put the light in there? It also smells funny. Oh, fuck. That is oh, That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be in there, but that's definitely had a lot of water in it. Got proud of myself. <laughs> no, there's fucking touch valves, bro. There, look, in here, it's smash, smash, yeah. so smash, smash. Every single piston. Too much lift on the 272s, bro. So that rust crap clearly is problem number one. That, so problem number two, it's probably a combination of valves the valves were touching the pistons on every single piston. Oh, yeah. And the cams themselves weren't too, too pretty either. So yeah, definitely needs new pistons. Maybe needs new cams. And I don't know if it's a bore or a hone at the stage, but Hmm. Uh, somewhere down here. It's not far. Just so what's the uh, why is yeah. this in the garage, James? Oh, it's just to there. Um, because the rat broke into the garage and decided to chew through some rubber hoses and some other stuff. So what's the, the what's the next steps for the uh, snail? Uh, Let's do some grinding. Make some things. Put it back together, pretty much, to find a new clutch fork. Yada yada yada. So look at that, it's looking mighty beefy. No way that's gonna tear again. Effort, buddy. Back to original blue and white. Well, original when we got it. So it's quite thin through there. So I'm not surprised tyres wore through that in no time. And the clutch fork. You can see where it broke. This last piece is on really hard. Good quality wrap though. Come on your basket. Hard work. Uh, Alright, that's most of the wrap off. <laughs> Small little pieces hidden away somewhere, no doubt. 
like under there. And the door handle. Good job on the cleaning duties. Oh yeah, that was Blair by the way. Anybody says differently, it was Blair. HKS, HK shit. All right, camera's about to run out of batteries again. And <laughs> well, there's a little red flashing light. But you're not wrong, it is a good way of closing the videos off. I'm like, oh, the battery's going flat. Oh, got to get the kids to bed. Oh, man, it's so tired. Really? So in saying that, we'll end it here. So thanks for watching, and... Uh, that's a wrap! Yeah.